Now we're going to go into September and I'm going to be hunting with Ken Gangler out of Canada Sub Arctic. He has an operation in Manitoba and in the summer he's basically fishing for lake trout at his lodge. He also runs spring bear hunts and they got some mammoth bears up there in Manitoba. And in the fall he has he combos, he has a moose hunt and he has caribou hunting and that's in Manitoba but we're right up at the northern border I mean five miles from the border and that's the central barren ground caribou and they come migrating down through his area like you cannot believe I was hunting there for four or five days 5,000 animals walked by me all within a hundred yards throughout that that four or five days of hunting it was something to something to see. I've been on other caribou hunts where a lot of times the outfitter says, well, you should have been here last week or they haven't quite moved into the area yet. But I'll tell you, this week I hit it perfectly. So sit back and watch a little bit of caribou action for Central Brown Caribou with Canada sub -art. We're bow hunting. It's a good animal right there. We've got a great setup here. I didn't know you were you were here. The amount of animals we see here is amazing. Now there's a bull I'm going to take. Not that real wide one, but the one behind him, still in velvet. He's got an incredible shovel on him. Good tops and sticker points. You've got to wait until he gets in a position where you're only going to kill him and not some animal behind him. in his tracks. That's the right one. That's the right one. Let's just sit here for a second. Well, here we are at Ken Gangler's Canada Subarctic, Northern Manitoba. Shooting Central Barren Down Caribou. Here's my second animal in velvet. Got some nice long top sign, good bez, beautiful shovel, and bat kickers on him. Not a bad animal. And a good clean kill. We've seen literally thousands of animals. And to be honest with you, yesterday, I think we saw 3,000 animals. And there was probably four bigger than this, but there was just so many animals I couldn't decide which one to shoot. The major migration thinned out a little bit today, and it's the second to last day I want to get some fishing in. So we pulled the trigger on this baby. The fire's killing caribou, the hunt's over. It's been an unbelievable experience. Talk to you guys later.
just got back from that caribou camp of yours. Um, you guys saw that we, uh, we got a couple of kills on film. Literally saw four, maybe 5,000 animals. 3,000 probably in just one day. It was, uh, it was unbelievable. So the only problem with it is we got too many animals to choose from. Uh, it gets confusing. And I've never even heard of uh, hunting caribou in uh, Manitoba. Yeah, it's the we think it's the best kept secret in North America. It's, the herd is 450,000 animals and it's been kept closed uh, all for years due to you know concerns in the north. And finally, it was opened in 1995. And 450,000 animals between resident and non-resident, there's only 500 licenses issued. Yeah, that's what I heard. 500 tags a year. That's, that's why you don't hear about it. Yeah. And that's why the quality is, is what it is. Right. Oh, I mean, they're, the animals were everywhere. It was unbelievable. And everybody in camp, I mean, the quality, the trophy quality was fantastic. Yeah. We're average on size, I would say 335. 335 would be a real safe, conservative estimate. Lots of boomers every year. We took a 402 or two years ago. I mean, you saw them. Oh, yeah. There's, there's 400 pluses out there, just a question of getting that home. I've passed probably four or five of those, you know. I mean, it's, it's usually after you shoot it's it. It's confusing, you know. I'm walking out. Um, now that's about an hour flight north of your main lodge here that we're at right now. Yeah, my main lodge is at 240 miles of Thompson, Manitoba. Um, one of the finest fishing lodges in the north. Uh, I'm not patting ourselves in the back, and I'm a lot of hard work into it. And I use it as my base for all my hunting. And I, it's a really neat area because I'm in the woodlands down here, as you can see. Right. And this is where we do our bear and moose. But you go 65 miles north and we hit the tree line and we're into the tundra. Yeah. And this is where the, the caribou actually might break down every year. And we've got two camps up there and uh, we've got them in a couple of great areas where the animals flung right through and right. And so it's all. Yeah. Good to the latter part of September. You yeah. hunt for three weeks up there for the, yeah. for the caribou. And then you also got bear hunting down here in the fall moves. Yeah. And then in the spring, don't you? You've got bear hunting here in the spring. I do spring bear. Uh, and we also specialize in archery for bear. And, uh, many, there's a couple of publications going to call up one of the greatest black bear hunts in North America, not the greatest. And, and you got colors. I mean, you got blondes, chocolates, cinnamon, blacks. We had, uh, I had a lot of bear hunters who hunted with me. One guy's coming back for his fifth year in a row. I get the bear hunter. Uh, has been on other hunts and wants something special. Right. This year we had 28 hunters, a thousand percent opportunity, 24 took bears. Out of those 24 bears, I would say 10 of them were seven foot bears. Right. Yeah. Big heads on the table. Oh, big heads. Yeah. Big heads. And the moose, you get a lot of what, 40s? And... A lot of 40s, and every year we get three or four over 50. We've right. seen them over 60. Right. Um, as we speak, we're in our yeah. moose hunting. We've got three down with five more days to go. Um, one of my guys tagged out, and today he calls a 55 inch right at the camp. Right, walk right at the camp, yeah. and of course, to fill that. Yeah. Yeah. And then in your fishing, it's funny, I met a guy here from uh, Dallas, and uh, he went out there fishing today. He caught three lake trout, and all of them were between, what, 37 and a half and 39 and a half yeah. inches? Yeah, three mass triangular trout, which are like 20 to 30 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Our fishing lodge is, uh, it enables me <clears throat> to, to do this here. Um, and we have the main lodge and we have four other outpost camps, which I also use for hunting in the fall. Um, and we've been on a lot of fishing shows and uh, games we to the lodge. Right. It's a great, our, our fishing is out there. Um, so you guys, uh, I firsthand have experience really uh, going up there on that caribou hunt. And uh, I give it my highest recommendation. You need to, you need to check out this Manitoba hunting. It's, uh, it's uh, something else. And, uh, Ken, you run a great operation. Thanks, bud. And uh, you guys will see the 800 number down there, and 